Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm a full-time reseller. So last week, every week, I go to the Goodwill Bins, which is also the Goodwill Outlet, which is where you pay by the pound instead of by the item. There's literally bins that you dig through, and it's the best place to thrift, in my opinion. There's always gems to be found, and also one of the last places that clothing goes before it reaches the landfill. So in my opinion, I am saving so many clothes from the landfill just by going there. So I love it. Excuse my voice if it's a little raspy. Literally right before sitting down to film this, I felt my voice starting to go out. I've had a sore throat for a couple days now and it just keeps getting worse. So if it's a little raspy or if I sound sick, I apologize. So in my last video was the first part of the haul from this day. I paid only $1.40 per item and I got, I think, about 70 items total in this day. In the first First haul I showed you about 30 items and in this haul I'll be showing you about 30 items as well. So if you didn't watch that first video make sure to go back and watch it to check out some other things that I pick up to sell online and yeah I feel like that intro was really rambly so I'm really sorry about that but let's just jump right into it. Also, right when I sat down to film, as you can see, we put our Christmas decorations up. My last video, we also had the tree up, but over the weekend, we put up the stockings and the rest of the decorations around the house. I'm so happy. Just something about the Christmas tree being up makes me so happy. But when I sat down to film, I realized that this branch has literally oh my god yeah it has five different ornaments on it one of them is a candy cane so it has four ornaments on it and one candy cane which is so funny I have two young kids I have a six-year-old and a two-year-old so they definitely did that but I just think it's so cute and it gives it character if you could see the snowman's here that's that just made me laugh so so I'm curious are you today is actually Tuesday two days before Thanksgiving are you guys the type to put your Christmas decorations up like right away after Halloween or are you the type that's like no I have to wait until the day after Thanksgiving or like Thanksgiving weekend to do it that's how I grew up like my mom was always like no like we have to wait until Thanksgiving as I got older like I begged her to decorate earlier and to let us decorate earlier so she would but in past years living by myself as an adult I have decorated as early as like November 1st this year it was about a week ago but I'm curious do you decorate before Thanksgiving or are you a believer that you have to wait until Thanksgiving's over I love Christmas just the Christmas spirit makes my heart so happy so I put the decorations up early so I can enjoy them longer but I'm sorry for rambling let's just jump right into it we have a few miscellaneous like accessory items and then and the rest are clothing. So the first piece is this Liz Claiborne necklace. Definitely vintage. It's gold tone. My boyfriend actually found this. I don't normally sell stuff like this. I normally don't even look in the hard good bins at the Goodwill outlet because it's just chaos. Like at my outlet, the shoes are not separated. They don't have separate shoe bins, which is one big pet peeve of mine but so the shoes are usually just mixed in with the hard good items and you t like a lot of times you cannot find a matching pair of shoes so I don't even look in those bins most of the time but my boyfriend went with me during this trip and he found this and I'm like you know what it's so light so easy to list why not so I looked up this exact piece definitely vintage on here it says modern equivalent and libert I don't know. That's French for something. I cannot remember. But this I'll be listing for around $22. I did get one pair of shoes, but that's because they were literally just sitting on the end of a bin. I'm pretty sure somebody put them back, decided they didn't want them. I definitely picked them up. This is by the brand Allegria, which is a decent... I wonder if you heard that. That was my upstairs neighbor. I live on the second floor and there's people above me and... They are constantly loud, like literally 2 a.m., 2.30 a.m. I'll wake up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom and they are thumping up there. Like there's two young kids up there, but I'm just like, I don't know when they sleep. There's constantly thumping up there. So I'm really curious if you guys heard that when editing this back, I'll have to see. But anyways, the brand is Allegria by PG Light, but it's just Allegria. This is a great comfort shoe like professional shoe brand, like nurses and doctors a lot of the times wear these kind of shoes. Definitely remind me of dance goes. But these are a Mary Jean style. They do have a little bit of scuffing at the toes there, if you could see. But otherwise, they're in really good condition. The soles are in really good shape. 
These I'll be listing for right around $35 and should be able to get between $28 to $35. This next piece I probably should have left behind. If I'm being honest, I thought this was the Phillies, but it's not. This is actually Pittsburgh Pirates hat. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts, camo, bucket hat. I think this is probably a hat that somebody got from a game. Like kind of like a free you know, the free merch that they give out sometimes. I'm pretty sure that's what this was, but I went ahead and picked it up because it's a super easy list on trend. People love Dunkin' Donuts and people love sports and stuff like this. So this I should be able to get between 15 and $20 for, but again, super easy to list. This next piece my boyfriend found, but I've been finding a lot of pieces like this over the past couple weeks. This is a motorcycle riding jacket. This is a women's and I love the front of this kind of looks like flames. I forget what the exact name is, but I actually found the exact name of this piece, which is amazing. It has a lining that can be removed with a hood. It's kind of like a sweatshirt type lining, which I like. It has these button details, tons of pockets. This, I think I'll be listing around $45. Brand new, this exact piece is selling for right around $150. Pre-owned, I could not find much information on it. But again, around $45, I'll be happy to at least get 38 to 40. This next piece is a Washington Redskins NFL football jersey. Now, if you know anything about the NFL, you'll know that the Redskins are no longer a team. Like they're a team, but that's not their name. At one point, it was it switched to Washington football team, in my opinion. Well, I don't know. I'm not even going to say my opinion, but, um, and now I think they're called the Washington Commanders, but my boyfriend found this Redskins, Redskins things can do really well because again, they're not a team anymore. They no longer make these pieces that say Redskins on it. So this is, I think Ryan Kerrigan. I think his first name is Ryan Kerrigan. The great thing about this piece is that it's a men's 4XL tall. There are no jerseys with this guy's name on it that are listed at a size 4XL or a 4XL tall. So that works in my advantage and I should be able to get a little more for it because of that. There is a little bit of wear on the numbers as you could see and there are a few spots on the front here but I think I'm still going to be listing this for around $40. If it was a smaller size, like a large, a medium, I'd probably only be able to get around $30 to $28 for it. This next piece I thought was just so freaking adorable. Super like boho kind of grandma core. This is vintage Coldwater Creek size large 100% linen. This is a pair of overalls, like short alls embroidered like I said 100% linen shorts and the buttons are hearts and then there's embroidery at the top there I just loved the button detailing on that this is just so stinking cute the back has a button on it right there in the middle of the back and yeah if I remember correctly I'll be listing these for around $35 this next piece is Sleeping on Snow, which is an anthropology brand. This is a size extra small. This is an alpaca linen blend, acrylic with nylon in it. But it's this like button front, buttons halfway up the front, pom-pom cardigan. This I should be able to get around 30 to 35 for. I wish it was a little bit of a bigger size, but that's totally okay. The alpaca definitely helps it. People love alpaca. alpaca. This piece I should have left behind, and it's really hard to see the tag. I don't know if you're even going to be able to read that. But it's by the brand Alyssa with an I, A-L-I-S-S-A. -S -S -A. It's this, like, chenille jacket, but there are some buttons missing, which is why I should have probably left it behind. But since I've grabbed it, I will go ahead and list it. Probably only list it around, you know, $22 because of the missing buttons. This again is another vintage Coldwater Creek piece, size large, a linen blend, pull on, stretchy shorts. I thought about keeping these for myself, but I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and try to list them. Even though it's not summertime, I list all seasons all year. Like just today, I listed a new tag swimsuit. You know, somebody somewhere, especially on eBay because I sell internationally, somebody somewhere might be looking for a linen pair of shorts. You never know. So if I find it super, especially super cheap, like at the bins, I will especially list all seasons all year. So anyways, linen blend, pull on pair of pants, probably get between 20 and 25 for those. 
Linen shorts are a great bread and butter piece in the summertime. This next piece is again vintage. Bobby Brooks. The size tag and the material tag are cut out, but I believe this is like a size large. It's this plaid shirt with this embroidery detail of zebras, which I thought was really unique. Gives that kind of like safari vibe, you know? Probably be able to get again between 20 and 25 for that. Now these next two pieces, I just realized this has a ton of discoloration on it. I don't know if that's gonna come up on camera. This sleeve has a ton of discoloration down it. But, so I might, I'm gonna probably try to wash that and see if that comes out. But these next two pieces, I will be listing together as a lot. They're both by the brand Wrangler, both sizes large, both the exact same style shirt. It's like this canvas button up shirt, like a work shirt, perfect for a work shirt. This one's olive green. This one's like this beige khaki color. But like I said, that sleeve has a lot of discoloration. If I can get that out, I will be listing the two together, like I said, as a lot for around $30. If I cannot get that out, then I'll probably, I'm still going to list it because again, somebody could easily wear this as a work shirt and they might not mind that. I will probably list the two for like $25 instead of $30. This next piece is a Prana piece, which is like a yoga athletic brand, size extra small. So funny because I recently got this exact style piece, but in a button up shirt that sells for like $35 to $40, which really shocked me. But this is a dress, has this smocking detailing right there, drop waist. I forget the name of it. I found the name when I looked this piece up, but I should be able to get between $25 and $30 for that. This next piece is a vintage basic editions women's like sleep shirt. It has a teddy bear on it and it says nighttime. I thought this was so adorable. Oversized. I'm assuming it's like a one size, but it could fit up to like a 3X. Feels like it's never been worn. That I'll be listing for around $25. This next piece I got only because it's 100% linen. And also I just love the color of it. But this is Talbot's size medium. You guys know if you've ever watched my videos that with Talbot's I stick with larger sizes as in extra large and up. But because this is a 100% linen piece, it's like this sleeveless. Well, I guess it kind of has sleeves on it. Kind of has these like little short sleeves ribbed like chunky knit sweater 100% linen that's why I got it this I should be able to get around $25 for as well this next piece I should have left behind I did not look it up in the store I should have but this is by the brand Rock and Republic this is a skinny style jean which as we know not as popular I'm still listing them because you know people like skinny jeans with their boots and stuff like that I personally wear skinny jeans a lot of the time still like right now I have skinny jeans on like I typically wear skinny jeans so I am not really a part of the trend of no skinny jeans but I thought this metallic like shimmery it's kind of hard to see there but it has like this gold over top of it shimmery I thought that was really unique but these I'll only be able to get around like $15 for this next piece again I should have left behind I did not look it up in the store because a lot of things the NFL can do really well but this is NFL size extra large Pittsburgh Steelers I'm from Pennsylvania I grew up a Pittsburgh Steelers fan so I love this unfortunately this is gonna be way too big for me but it's a men's polo kind of like that moisture wicking material and again I'll only be able to get around $15 for that this next piece I got mainly because it's a 3x max studio sometimes in plus sizes can do decently well and can sell pretty quickly this is a short sleeve like shift dress shirt dress has embroidery there like crochet embroidery has these flutter sleeves that I'll probably be able to get around 22 for this next piece is again a vintage piece vintage St. John's Bay women's size extra large this is a wool blend super chunky knit mock neck I loved the like heathering on this like all the different colors on that. That I think I'll be listing again between 25 and 30, maybe around 28 if I remember. This next piece my boyfriend found, I was really, really proud of him. Let me show you the tag. Pure Jill Linen Top, J Jill Pure Jill, 100% linen, 
super oversized boxy blouse has kind of this color blocking detail that I'll be listing for around $28. This next piece is a Chico's piece, which is a really good bread and butter for me, bread and butter brand for me, especially in the larger sizes. This is a size zero, which equates to a US size small, but I picked it up because of this detailing on this embroidery beaded kind of open front lightweight jacket. It's a linen blend. When I looked it up again, I found the exact name of it. I think it's like the embroidered diamond jacket, something like that. I forget, but these, this I should be able to get around $25 for. This next piece I picked up mainly based off of style. This is Knox Rose. Normally I don't pick up smaller sizes by this brand, but I kind of wanted to do an experiment with this. This is a size small. Normally I pick up size extra large or bigger, but this is a linen blend off the shoulder top embroidered there. Kind of gave me that Western vibe has pinstripes kind of only probably be able to get around 18 to $20 for this. But if it sells quickly, I'm totally okay with that. So we will see how long that takes to sell. Bigger sizes can sell more quickly with that brand. This next piece is one of my favorite bread and butter brands. Once again, Lauren Ralph Lauren, any Ralph Lauren line pretty much performs well. This is an older tag, women's size 12, wool blend, herringbone pattern, kind of like the chevron herringbone pants. It's a wider leg, not really a wide leg, kind of like a straight leg. Now there is a little flaw right here, if you could see. It's not a hole, but the threading is kind of, I don't know, it, it looks like something kind of got stuck there at some point, if that makes sense, I don't know. But from far away, you really cannot tell that much. And of course, I will note that in my listing, these I'll probably be able to get between $25 and $30 for. This next piece I just thought was so adorable. This is a sweater with a square neck, crochet detailing at the neckline and on the sleeves. This is by the brand Bowden. A lot of times dresses in this brand sell really well. Their jackets can sell really well also. This is a US size six. I believe this is 100% cotton. She'll be able to get about $25 for that. These next two pieces I thought were really unique and I picked them up again, kind of as an experiment. I don't think I've ever sold aprons. They're like kitchen aprons, but I just loved the boho patchwork detailing of this. So this kind of looks homemade, like for sure. It does have a tag on it with an RN number on it, but it looks homemade to me. That's what that looks like. And this is what the front looks like. Patchwork. You can adjust the neckline there. And... The back is just polka dots, but I thought this was super cute, super boho, like I said, and then there's a second one that's almost exactly the same, just a little bit of a different pattern. That's what that one looks like. This one also has the polka dot lining on the back, also has the adjustable neckline there. Those I'll be listing, I believe, around $25 each, and we will see how those do. This next piece is a super funky vintage piece. This is by Alfred Dunner. This is definitely from the 80s. I love this funky neon print. This is actually a full zip blouse, which I thought was super unique. Size 18 wide. Just all those like patches on there, embroidery. I thought this was super funky. This I'll be listing for around $25. This next piece is Cloth and Stone. I believe that's an anthropology brand, extra small. This is a tensile YSL shirt dress. V-neck, again, should be able to get around $25 for that. This next piece, I originally thought it was black. This is definitely blue. I don't know. I have black on. Nope, that's definitely blue. This is Polo by Ralph Lauren. Definitely a vintage tag. Size extra, extra large men's. 100% lamb's wool sweater vest with the embroidered pony there. Definitely blue. I originally listed this in my draft as black. But I realized as I was taking the measurement photos that it's definitely blue. So I have to change that. But I should be able to get around $30 for that piece. This next piece is Free People, 
On this day, I found quite a few or a handful of free people and anthropology pieces, which I don't often find. So I was really excited about that. And actually, my last video, I think, is where I showed the other free people sweater. And that sold the same or the next day after I listed it. So I was really surprised by that. But free people size extra small. This is a button up kind of swing cardigan. I really thought this was adorable. Chunky knit, cable knit. I think I should be able to get between $35 and $40 for that. This next piece did not have a brand on it. So kind of a, taking a gamble with this, but I thought this just was super like boho and on trend and I could not leave this behind and I loved the colors of it. So it's the short sleeve button up cardigan. The button just came off again, has buttons on the sides here. Well, a button on the side there. And I loved the earthy tones of this probably only be able to get around, you know, $22 for that, but that would fit a size extra large. This next piece I should have left behind. This is moth which again is an anthropology brand, size small. This is a linen blend, if I remember correctly, kind of chunky waffle knit sweater. And it has this kind of rose gold detailing. I don't know if that's coming up in camera, but it kind of has rose gold threading on there. I really hope that's coming up. This I'll only be able to get around $15 for, which had I known that, I would have definitely left it behind. Moth is not really a brand that performs well anymore. And I need to be better with not picking it up. Because I'm just like, oh, Moth, I never find that brand. Let me pick it up. But it really does not perform well. So I need to get better at that and get better at looking up comps before I leave the store. Even if it is the bins. This next piece is a vintage piece on a Fruit of the Loom heavy cotton tag. Super soft fleece lining. Feels like it's never been worn size large it hat just says usa on the front this i think i'll be listing for around 25 dollars if you haven't noticed 25 dollars is my sweet spot especially when i go to the bins i love listing pieces right at 25 dollars and that still gives me about an 18 dollar profit after fees and everything like that this next piece is a land's end women's piece size 1x fleece like flannel lined canvas chore jacket this style jacket a lot of times people will call it a chore barn jacket a lot of people use these like on the farm that's just what the style jacket is called and a lot of people look that up when searching for the style jacket this does have a corduroy collar which i really liked and there was only one other listed in the size on eBay, a little bit of a darker beige color, more of like a tan color. And they had theirs listed, I think, for like $50 or something like that. I believe I'm going to list mine right around $35 to $40 in hopes that it goes pretty quickly. But this is in really good condition and lands end in bigger sizes, especially in outer well, especially in outerwear, can perform well. So Land's End is not a brand I would typically pick up, especially in smaller sizes, but something like this, a more substantial piece, definitely don't be, a, don't be afraid to look up comp on those more basic brands. You know what I mean? You might be surprised by what you find out. This next brand is by THML, or this next piece I should say is by THML, which I think is an anthropology or is sometimes sold at anthropology size extra small, nope, size small, super thick, kind of this Southwestern print with the fringe trim sweater, this kind of turtleneck. Like I said, it's super thick. I really wish you guys could feel this, but I saw this exact piece sell on eBay recently for $28. So that's exactly what I'm going to be listing mine at right at $28. And this is the last piece. And I believe my boyfriend found this one as well. He actually is getting really, really good at picking up on what brands sell well and what kind of pieces sell well. And I'm really proud of him and it makes me so happy. So this is a vintage suede jacket. It does have a little bit of wear on the front, but it's really nothing major. Has two pockets there, as you can see. This is by the brand JLC. Men's size, a large quilted lining. Pieces by this brand are selling for around $35. So I think that's what I'm going to be listing mine for, right around $35.
And I love selling leather and suede jackets this time of year. So that is the rest of the items that I found from one of my last trips from the bins. I actually went to the bins again yesterday. So stay tuned for some more hauls. I don't plan on slowing down. I have so many good items that I found just yesterday. And that will probably be split into two different videos as well, just like this haul. But thank you so much if you've made it to the end of the video. Drop a purple heart down below so I know. I really appreciate you. I really, really do. I love seeing the same names come across my screen in the comments on every video. It just seriously warms my heart and it just, I love it. Like I, my, I just love, it. I love connecting with people in this community. I love helping you guys. I love showing you what I find and I just love all the support that I get and I'm really, really appreciative. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next one and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Mm -hmm.